Good afternoon, children. Today we will be doing a poem called Mice, Unit 3, 3.1. Children, we have learned about singular and plural, one and many. Now, when we talk about this animal, it is known as a mouse, one mouse. And more than one mouse becomes mice. Now I will tell you the difference between a mouse and a rat. A mouse has larger ears than a rat. A rat has smaller ears. It has a longer tail compared to a rat. A mouse has a longer tail compared to a rat. Even his feet are larger. The head of a mouse is also bigger than a rat. They are normally light grey or brown. And on their belly, their stomach part, it is little lighter than the body part compared to a rat. All these animals, either a rat or a mouse, they belong to the rodent family. They are known as rodents. So a rat or a mouse belong to the rodent family. Children, let us learn about this animal called a mouse. A mouse is a very small animal. They come in different colors. Light brown, dark brown, grey, white and even black. There are different types of mice. These mice are kept as pets. People keep them as their pets. As I told you earlier, they are also called rodents. A grey mice normally has light ears. A light colored mouse has light pink ears. Their face is much smaller than their ears. Their ears are much bigger and compared to their ears, their face is quite small. They have a long tail and their tail is as long as their body. These are the hind legs of the mouse. A mouse's hind legs are bigger than the legs in front. The front legs are called forelegs and the back legs are called hind legs. So uh, the hind legs of a mouse are much bigger than the forelegs of the mouse. A mouse has a very good sense of smell. They can smell food from a distance. So that is why they come to our homes. When they know that there is some food around, they enter into our homes and they eat that food. But their sense of smell is very good. Though they cannot see very well, their sense of smell is excellent. And also they are hearing. They can hear very well and they can smell very well. Now these are called the whiskers of a mouse. Can you see? Even cats have that. Many animals have these whiskers. And these whiskers help them to feel whether there is some object on the ground. Like see there is a nail. This whiskers help them to realize that there is a there is some object there or the ground is not very smooth. Their whiskers help them to do this. Because they cannot see very well, their whiskers help them to do this work for them. Mice are very intelligent animals, children. If they are trained to do something, they will learn very fast. You see these mice who come in the homes or immediately when they sense somebody coming close by, they run away. They are very smart like that. 
A mouse has white teeth like these, two front teeth and they are quite sharp. They can cut into anything. They have white teeth. And you know children, mice are normally seen in the night. They are called nocturnal creatures. Nocturnal means animals that are seen mostly in the night are active in the night. Like even bats, which you see on the tree, they come out only at night. So they are called nocturnal creatures. When everybody is fast asleep, you will see the mice roaming around. As you learned earlier, children, in the lesson Yash and Moti, the mouse nibbled at Yash's shoe. So when rats eat, I told you that they nibble their food. They eat, take small, small, small bites and they are nibbling at their food. Now rats know they feel very hungry because they sleep for almost 12 hours in the day because they are always awake at night. They sleep during the day. Not all rats, but most of the rats sleep during the day and they feel very hungry. So they start searching for food at night and they come to our homes. They touch things that are not supposed to be eaten. They nibble at anything they find. So rats are nocturnal creatures. They nibble at their food and they sleep mostly during the day. Now children that we have learned so much about the animal, the mouse, we are going to learn a poetry today on mice. 3.1 Mice by Rose Flyman. The poet is called Rose Flyman. I will read the poem to you children. Listen carefully. I think mice are rather nice. Their tails are long. Their faces small. They haven't any chins at all. Their ears are pink. Their teeth are white. They run about the house at night. They nibble things they shouldn't touch. And no one seems to like them much. But I think mice are rather nice. Now children, I will explain the poem to you. I have already told you so much about mice. That they have long tails, small faces, big ears. Their sense of smell is very good. Their hearing is also very good. Though they can't see very well, the whiskers help them to feel around. Now I am going to explain this poem to you. I think mice are rather nice. Their tails are long, their face is small, they haven't any chins at all. If you notice that a mouse does not have a chin like we do below our mouth, that part is called a chin. They don't have a chin. They just have their mouth there and their faces then connect to their neck. Their ears are pink. See, the mouse's ears are pink. Their teeth are white. They run about the house at night. I also told you that they normally come out at night and they run around the house. You see them sometimes around your house. You will see, see mouse uh, or mice normally very active at night. They nibble things. Nibble is they eat small uh, bites. They nibble things they shouldn't touch. If you keep something there for a rat, he will sense and he will come and eat that uh, food that is kept for him. But sometimes we don't keep food for them at all in the house. But when they smell something, there's food around and it's kept out, these mouse or mice normally come and eat something that they shouldn't touch at all. And no one seems to like them much. Now, would you like a rat coming into your house and eating your food that is kept there. So we don't like it very much. But the poet thinks that mice are rather nice. Now let us do the rhyming words in the poem. Which are the rhyming words? 
mice nice small all white night touch much so see children we have learned the rhyming words also in the poem now learn the poem and recite it nicely don't rush with it you have to recite the poem very nicely thank you children i hope you have understood the poem learn the poem and recite it nicely thank you